Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at House by the Side of the Road in Wilton, and I'm joined by Jeremy Delisle of UNH Cooperative Extension. Jeremy, these are generally kind of bleak months for gardeners, but if you want to get some color into the white there too, a lot of people turn to house plants. And today I gather we're going to be talking about the do's and the don'ts. That's right, Ray. Absolutely. Um, one of the things that you can do in the wintertime is bring plants indoors or purchase plants that are specifically best grown inside. And so um, a few tips for homeowners. Sometimes we love our plants so much that we give them a little bit too much care. And when I say that, what I mean is um, oftentimes we'll overwater plants. And so that's one thing that we definitely want yeah, to avoid. Yeah, I'm guilty as charged when it comes, comes to that. Now, so knowing yeah. what plant um, needs a certain amount of water, some plants might need water weekly. Others may only need it a couple times a month, depending on the type of plant that you're going to grow. Now, does it also depend on where you have the plant? For instance, if you have it in a southern facing window, gets more light and maybe more heat as well? Absolutely. So. Uh, bright light or near a heat source, uh, those are going to dry out quickly. So there are a few things that you can do. You can place them on saucers with stone underneath and put water in that up to just below the top of the stone. And you can also group plants together closely. And so that's going to increase that humidity right around those plants. So that's one trick. Um, now the other thing too, I gather it's important to pick the plant for the environment. So if you do have the southern facing window, you have a couple of examples you've picked out here, plants that'll tolerate the right, light. Right, absolutely. Know. So this would be an example of a plant for highlight, this croton. It's going to color up better if it's indirect light. And so we definitely want to get that plenty of light. South facing window would be great. Um, Kalanchoe here, also here, this is a plant that's in the succulent family. So it's also going to tolerate high light and need less water to thrive. So that's one if you're going to be out of town for a couple weeks at a time, that's a really great plant choice for you. Okay. And, and then this, finally? Is, this is Peace Lily. And so this is a plant that's going to tolerate very low light conditions, still bloom. It's going to um, need to stay relatively moist. You'll see it start to droop if it dries down too much. Okay, and uh, we're just kind of scratching the surface, no pun intended here, but there is a uh, handy fact sheet that the Cooperative Extension puts out that gives you some tips there as uh, far as taking care of plants. Right? Absolutely, so springs around the corner and hopefully this will get you through until then. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.